Hey guys, welcome back to Popping for a Chat with myself and I would say the wonderful. Oh, <laughs> but you know, you know what we think of him. Uh, mm. Episode four, really, really excited again. We have another international guest. Yay! Woo! Lee doesn't look as excited as me, and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm if I'm honest. Poor, poor guest, not getting the excitement. This is great. I just don't know why we're cheering international yeah, like that. Because yeah. it feels like it feels like something to celebrate now. Okay, I'll do it next. Next next time we have international, when he says international, I'll do camp shaky wrists just for just for Ali. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Should we get um, on? We're getting our let's, let's not even bother. Let's not bother with this episode. We're finished. This episode four <laughs> is when popping for chat finished. This is when when it all fell apart. But no, we have an awesome, awesome guest, none other than Obi the Kid, joining us all the way from Florida at. Gatesville. Gatesville. Is that where it is? Gatesville, Florida. I'm sure he is. Look at you doing your research. Top man. How's things, man? Good. Good, good. Nice and nice and early over here. It's like lunchtime for you guys. Yeah. What, what, am I right in saying it? Is it like six in the morning or something like that? Yep. Yep. So where are you? What kind of, why are you, are you like ready to go on a hunt? Or are you ready to go to work? What are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm at work. I've been at work for a couple hours. Okay. Um, and now I'm, now, now I'm here. Cause you know, when, when storm, when the great storm core and pop core say, Hey, do you want to pop on? And I'd say, I, you have to, you have to. <laughs> Do you know, I, I love this about like our, our our two American guests so far. They've not cared about the time difference. Like Dave was the same. Dave was like, yeah, just let me know what time and I'll be there. The, Dave, uh, Dave was Dave's missing like four in the morning, weren't he? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm ready, we're going now. It's like, he was well up for it, bless him. Yeah, I, Dave, Dave is a special character because he's like, yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll send stuff everywhere. I don't, I don't he, like the box that he sent me was like five pounds. And I'm like, what? Why did you send me a five pound? Like, I know what shipping is in the States. Yeah. And I'm like, why are you sending me a five pound? It's like, oh, don't worry about it. I just gave you some goodies. Oh, like, man. Crazy. Like, he, he he shipped me that, uh, as a matter of fact, it's in the stack, the Xavier that I've shown a few times with Cerebro. He shipped me this. Mm -hmm. And on the, the shipping label, it was like, I want to say it was $25 is what it cost him to post it to me. And I'm like, dude, you don't, you don't like, you don't need to do this. Like, he, you're, you're crazy. <laughs> his generosity is unbelievable uh, from that side he's, uh, as you say a, a special guy from that side when, when episode three hopefully will have dropped uh by the time this one comes out fingers crossed you'll see that me and lee are, are big big fanboys and we essentially just gush about how amazing he is for an hour <laughs> <laughs> so you, you have you sneaked out of work to join us yep 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 this is my this is my early lunch break Living the dream, man. So if, if you want to munch at your lunch while you're talking to us, you're you're more than welcome. Oh, I, don't, I don't have my lunch. This is just a lunch break. Oh, uh, one of those. One of those <laughs> ones. The cat's away. <laughs> <laughs> Some people use it for, what, dogging? Is that... Is that <laughs> <laughs> the best bit is that you're going to be looking at all the other cars in the parking lot being like, hmm, is there someone in there? What are they doing? Go well, knock on the window. There's, there's my car and there's a security guy's car and I that's currently about it. Nobody else gets in air this early. Ah, uh, so. okay. But now, but now I'll know. Well, I'm gonna stare at the cars while they while they pop in. <laughs> <laughs> well, we spin their lights. You you in luck. <laughs> we, we, oh, yeah. Yeah. Is, is that the signal? Is it Lee? you you would know, right? The master, yeah. Flash your lights. You in. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, thank you so much, as I say, for joining us. Really, really do appreciate it. Well, we just kind of dive in. I'm happy to start. Is that happy. Cool yeah. for you. I thought so, we had to start. <laughs> what got you into Funkos? Um, I've always been into collecting. Um, you know, as a kid, I was um, like, I started watching wrestling at the age of five. Um, my mom, my mom actually got me into it because her dad used to take her to um, wrestling shows way back in the day, the AW, the AWA, and um, you know, the the days of Vern Gagne and. Um, you know, like the old school wrestlers. So I started watching that. And so I collected like wrestling figures and Star Wars figures. Um, I still have a original Empire Strikes Back Yoda in my safety deposit box. Oh. That, 
that my grandma had and when we were going through her stuff i was like why do, why do you have this and she's like i don't know I'm like can why I would you have not it? have a yoda i know i was like can, can i have this and I, I haven't checked the price on it but i'm like i i don't think no matter what the price is i don't think it's going out out of my collection um, yeah it's, it's one, one of those items right that that even though you, you look at value it doesn't really matter what the value is right yeah like my my grand my uh her husband uh my grandpa uh he collected baseball cards and for mm. like two decades had every single person who won the world series the the big championship over here he had like a ball signed by all the players for like 20 oh, years God. it was like what grandpa why do you have these oh you know they're just there's a thing so yeah. i guess i guess it's in my genetics to be a collector um and i i actually got my first uh my first funko was i think i, sh I showed this on one of the videos um my first Funko was the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Okay. And I'm like, I'll get this one and I'll be done. <laughs> That's what everyone says. <laughs> no oh. one can have just one. You can't just have one. It's ridiculous. No, because then it was, oh, I have the Million Dollar Man, and then they had a Million Dollar Man with the IRS. And I'm like, well, I got to get IRS too. And I had three. And I'm like, well, I have two Million Dollar Man. I don't need both of them. But who, who else do they have? And then I made the mistake. Stormcore, Storm, Stormy will understand made the mistake of saying, oh, these Venomized things are pretty cool. Let me start collecting the Venoms. Yeah. It is a big line. I, I, I don't know if, if... Have you seen his Venom collection, Lee? Uh, we've, we have spoke about it for... Oh, when he's going to yeah. do the Funko for me. He's got, he, 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 oh, he puts me to, me to shame. I, I, I actually think... I'm trying to think who else would probably rival his Venom collection. Probably uh, Andrew. Uh, I can never remember his Funko Co Co Collector UK. Collector UK, that's it. Purely because I feel like he's got everything under the sun. But yeah, <laughs> I, I reckon on a daily basis, Obi, you send me some sort of Venom related message. Well, <clears throat> let me just, oh. I, happen, I, happen to have, I happen to have one right, right, oh. right here. Is that, is, that, um, is that my Venom that we've been speaking about? No, this is mine. <laughs> this is, uh, we actually, what was, what was crazy is I got this one and the Eddie Brock Venom one. And a macho man, and I don't know if the person just didn't understand um, like shipping and such. But I, I'm, it's on Facebook Marketplace, and um, I'm like, I go through the negotiations. It's like it's going to be ten dollars. I was like, cool. How much for shipping? He's like, no, out the door is ten dollars. I'm like, okay. Then I look at the label when it comes in. It was nine dollars and ten cents to ship. Wow. So three for essentially ninety cents. So there's a couple, um, there's a couple people over here in the states that are customizers. I was like, I saw somebody had this on uh, one of the, one of the pages. I'm like, I don't. But they were asking like hundred bucks. It's like, yeah. that's good because it's a custom. But I, so I, I, I messaged, I messaged them and I was like, hey, can you do something like this? Essentially, I was like, can you make all the black parts white and all the white mm. parts black? And because I didn't want to be that guy like on Instagram. Like you go into a tattoo shop and you're like, "Hey, I like I saw this on Instagram. Can you do this?" And they're like, "No, I'm not going to do this." But fortunately, she was um, she was very willing. She's like, "Sure, like I'll give it a shot." And actually, if they let me see if it'll I'll charge it up a little bit and see if I can turn off the no, no, it's not going to work. Ah, uh, your phone screen will kill it. Yeah, um, but I I think I sent I sent you a picture. The uh, the eyes the eyes and the teeth glow. Yeah, they're, they're glow in the dark. They are gnarly oh so. man like I, I would love have you, have you got any customs like no no no, no, no. I, I, every so often i see like normally it's like comic book art and i'm like oh i would love a pop of that but I, I, the, the times that i have looked it up it seems hella expensive i saw one um on instagram as a guy called avanafi customs and he was <laughs> selling off some of his and he did you know the killmonger chase i got the other yeah. day he had that and he customized it and he'd like added extra black and everything and that looked amazing and I think he was only selling that for about 35 quid. And I was going to go after that, which is high price for me, but it sold by the time I got messaged him. But uh, I've seen some of them are fantastic. They really, really are. And it's nice to have that special one-off kind of piece, isn't it, as well, if, you, if you're into something, like you are with Venomized, both of you. So I can completely see why people do it, definitely. Lee will fall asleep at some point while we talk about Venom-related stuff. So we'll just give him a wee nudge when he drifts off. I don't mind Venom. I just, not, Venomized is just not my thing. Look, hey, uh, there you go. Is, is that with the knife? <laughs> that's, that's the one with the blaster and the knife, right? 
Yeah, this this one's uh, just a blaster. The uh, four hundred three. Eh, where is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm I, I thought I had the exact same one sitting on my desk. I've got three three two seven sitting here. Oh, nice. Uh, which which uh, arrived. This this was a gift, so I can't complain considering the, the price that it's gone up to. Well, um, see, you got you guys oh. will appreciate this. She she needed to breathe. She had to get out of the box. Oh yeah. And I've I've shown this to several, to a couple people over over here, and they're like. Why, why? Like you know that that's like eighty five dollar. I'm like, yeah, but she has to breathe. Don't suffocate your pops. It, it don't even matter. But I, I've got the up house, and that's out of box. And I was like, oh, but it's worth this. And it's like, yeah, no, but it, I'm out of box. It's out of box. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I, I'm I'm that weird on the fence still, right? Where I've got some things out and the vast majority. And actually, on that note, I've had this guy sitting on my desk for a very, very, very long time. Nice. Oh, okay, that's a cool. One. Does anyone know who it is? Yeah, it's Razor Ramon. Yeah. So I, I, I didn't know who it was. It was uh, someone said said to me, "Hey, you don't do out of box, do you?" And I was like, "No," because at the point I didn't actually. I should have noticed because right in his crotch it says Razor. Uh, and they're like, "I want to send you an out of box pop to try and change your mind." And this is what it was. And at the time, I was like, "Hey, who's the guy in the neon pink?" Uh, and realistically, I should have known because I, I, he would have been a wrestler in the time I watched wrestling. Hmm. So I don't, I don't know why I never clicked, but it took me forever uh, from that side. But yeah, I, I have some out of box, some in box. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm always torn. I know as a matter of fact, I've got a few sitting on my desk just now. Uh, that... <laughs> so I'm, I'm saying I'm in box, but really, I think you guys have broken me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got them few that when you see my videos behind mm. me, they're in box. And that yeah. is purely because of space. That's not because I want them in box. As soon as I can get more space... They're coming out. Everything's coming out of box. I, I, I don't want them in box. I just, I, I appreciate it. I can see why people do it, but it always harks back to me. I'm, I'm not in a shop. It's like that's my collection. Yeah. I want them displayed my way. So that's, I'll always I be. Like I'll be the person who letting it breathe. Yeah, I'll be the person who buys like an expensive figure and then just rips open the box just to get the figure out because that's that's what I want. Oh, so I, I'm in the, this dilemma just now with the uh, All Might that just arrived. Uh, I, I want to take it out of the box, but I don't want to take it out of the box. Yeah, you need to. You need I, to post it. You need to get out of the box. Let him breathe. Let him breathe. I'm not doing it on this. I'm not doing it. Like I, I know what you're trying to do here, I'm not, and I'm not going to crack Think it open. now. Come on, on camera. This, this no, no, big no, thing. no. <laughs> I'll end up being sick halfway through it or something like that. Uh, <laughs> so, obviously, it was wrestling that kind of pulled you in, then, then Venomized. Anything else that you kind of like to, to collect? I know you're really into your, your like wrestling memorabilia, right? Um, yeah, yeah, I got, a, I got a good bit of wrestling stuff just because, you know, it's when, when you've been watching the same thing for over 25, nearly 30 years, you, you pick up some stuff. Um, <laughs> and what's actually, what's actually um, cool is there is a rival organization that's actually based in the city that I live in. Oh, nice. The, a the AEW. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Cool, cool. I've heard of that. That's, that's, that's based out of, out of uh, Jacksonville, Florida. So I'm like, cool. Like, of all the places, I happen to live in the city that, you know, it's, it's and you could, you could love it or you hate it, but, I mean, competition makes you, makes you better. Mm. Um, but uh, I have obscure, like, finds. Like, currently I'm on a kick to, um, I think somebody... Like I found, I found this the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Oh, with nice. baby Oh, you showed me this, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, it's a dude with a baby. Like, I'm gonna see how many dudes with babies there are. And then um, one of my one of my friends, we actually, um, it's a, a fellow YouTuber. Um, they live like 25 minutes away from me, and we we met for dinner and and we exchanged some stuff. And they gave me the IG11 with the uh, baby wow. Yoda. I this is really killy. I want that pop so bad. I want honestly. I can't wait to get that pop, but it just it's not it here. It's not here. It's it awesome. It's it's well it's well worth it. It's well worth it. Brilliant. Um, and so I'm like, how many other pops with babies do they have? And that set me down another scary line because I think they have the um, from the movie The Hangover. Yeah, uh, Alan that. with baby Carlos. Yeah, I think it's currently sitting at like three hundred fifty dollars. So. Oh. Uh, I, thought you, well, I thought you were reaching to get it then. I thought you had three hundred fifty dollars, and you're going. Go, and here it is. <laughs> no, no, I do. I do have. I do have the uh, the glow no. in the dark Eddie Brock. Oh, okay. 
I think I've seen, I've seen that one before. I think Scarlet got that one. Yeah, Scarlet taunted me with this on the first episode, I'm sure, as well. Yeah. Uh, it's, oh. It seems to be a running theme that, that we bring on a guest and they show me pops I don't have. So let, let's move on from that one, Obi. <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. I completely forgot this was glow in the dark. And oh. as I was leaving, I was like walking him out. And I'm like, something's glowing. Oh, he's glowing. <laughs> oh, <that's awesome. laughs> you know, the, the funniest thing is I, I've got quite a few glow in the dark pops. I've never seen one of mine glow because I, like, as you can see, well, I don't know how well you see it, but I'm ultimately in a converted shed. So when I, mm. when I go to bed, I turn out the light and I've, ne I've never seen a single, like I've got, I've, I can't be arsed getting it down. Actually, no, well, I've got this thorn that sits right above my head. Uh, it's glow in the dark, right? I've never seen them glow because I'm never here. <laughs> when it's dark, I'm not in here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I love the glow. You see, uh, I play with the glow in the dark on mine all the time. I'm always messing up. Even ones where I think, oh, that might have a glow. Because I bought one of them little UV torches from mm. China for about three quid. It's like, I'll get a pop, I'll get it out of the box. What does that glow? And I'll get the UV on it later. And, and I, I love that kind of aspect of it. I just wish they'd glow. When you've, when you've done the UV on them, I wish that glow would be there constant like if it was dark and it'd be like that then that'd be brilliant but yeah i love a glow in the dark pop i think it's a really i've seen some awesome um, displays where people have uv lighted their cabinets yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. i could definitely i could definitely do that if i had the room definitely because they're really cool especially you need an extension for your soon though right uh i'm apparently i'm being shoved up in the loft that is the plan how the, soon ja the jackson that? shaw loft hey oh no <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think mine would be probably the exact same as that when me sat on the floor uncomfortably. So yeah, videos in the future will be me just like wincing when my back's killing because it's like I just can't be bothered to be on the floor. But that's what the girls are telling me. It's like it's, we're up in this room, you're going upstairs. Ah, so you're being kicked out your room essentially. essentially yeah, I've I've got I've got two two daughters, Obi. So it's kind of like one of them's becoming a teenager, so they don't want me around. I I, I have two girls as well, and they have they have two boys. But so I got I got a total of four. Oh, okay. So they're they're not quite teens yet. My oldest just turned eight. So I've I've heard stories from people that are like, I have teenage daughters. I'm like, ah, my my, my oldest daughter is only she's gonna turn five. So I'm like, I got time. I got time. Yeah, yeah. enjoy it because honestly, my, my eldest just went from like being really sweet, lovely, and adorable to being a teen overnight, and it's like. One morning it was like, she, she was in my videos when I started. And it's like, oh, you can do a video of me. I'm not doing your videos. Your videos are stupid. I don't want nothing to do with that. It's like, oh, hey, oh, where's this going? And it's like, okay. So that's why I brought Lost May. Her. Yeah, it's like, hey, come here. <laughs> Embrace yeah. that. That's why, that's why you have multiple kids to be like, if one doesn't want to go, you're like, come on, come on, grab the next one. <laughs> yeah. just, you're pretty good at pulling, pulling the family into your videos, Obi, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, normally, I love the walking, oh, walking with the kid. Yeah, I like them ones. Yeah, I, I love I love doing that because we do the we do the evening walks every single night. And I mean, most of the time it was just, you know, shouting out channels. I haven't done one in a while. I'll have to do one. But I mean, it's just it's just shouting out channels like people that are getting close. Like, hey, they're at 190. Like, hey, I, I don't know how many people like I think I'm at like 230. I'm like, just have some people like go follow them, because if a couple of you go over and follow them, it'll get them closer to a goal. And I mean, it, that's what this community is all about. I mean, some you could jump jump and climb over people to get to your subs but it's easier to say hey like when i hit 200 i immediately turn around I'm like hey there's three other guys that are at like the 170s go help them out like mm. go go over there give them a sub like get their names out there so when they get up to 200 we can enjoy the 200 plateau and then you know we'll slowly keep moving forward and try to think actually dave on i'm talking about dave again but he had the, the kind of grow together that he was kind of talking about as well right on one of his recent yeah, videos. Yeah, I, I totally love that i i know both myself and lee have spoken about the kind of community aspect a lot and uh, myself and uh yobi as well on instagram a few nights ago talking about how the community can either be the best place ever or mm. like a cesspool uh, and I, I i really like that that you've got the the kind of community vibe direction that you want to go not just with your channel but it's like let's all kind of get there together yeah i mean you could you could be negative all you like currently currently we're having we're having a, a spat over here but i mean at the end of the day if, if we're really going to fight over four inch plastic bobbleheads and things with ginormous heads it's, it's not you, worth it you would rather it was a hell in the cell right i mean <laughs> <laughs> 
they're, they're going to make that. They're going to make that pop one day. Actually, um, I collected. I have all but one of the current Marvel Luchadors. Wow. And here's something that you do not know. Oh, it was like, like I think the original line was seven, and then they had like three Marvel collector scores that came in. Yeah. Because the first the first one I thought was it's wrestling and it's Venom, so I'm like I got to get the Venom, and then I picked up the Deadpool one, and then a couple people like sent me over one. I'm like. Okay, now I have four of the seven. I got to finish the set. <sighs> okay. Um, but one thing that's interesting, if you, um, I should have, I should have brought it with me. But the Captain Marvel one, something that you don't notice out of pop, uh, out of the box, is she has like the yellow mohawk, like she does in the movie. But if you open her up, she's got a pigtail in the back that's brown. Wow. That's one of those things that, like, if you're an inbox person, you wouldn't notice. Yeah, it's lost. Yeah. yeah. I know Scarlett mentioned that side of things as well in episode one. That I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but the, the Venom side of things, the Venomized pops, sorry, you don't see all the tendrils coming off the back and so on and so forth until you take out a box. And going back to the conversation we were having slightly earlier, I think that's why I'm starting to take more out is that I'm, I'm probably, other than that initial, I've bought it, let's take it out and look at it, then put it back in its little box. You miss so many of the details, right? And I would never have known that about the, the Captain Marvel one. Interesting though that you mentioned the, the luchadors. They seem to be the Marmite. Uh, did you get Marmite in the States? Uh, no, but I, I'm aware of Marmite. Okay, so, so they seem to be, at least, at least in people I speak to, people either love them or absolutely detest them. Yeah. But I, I, am I right in saying, Lee, you're not that into them? No, no, I'm opposite. I'm not going to get any, but I, I, I wasn't bothered by them whatsoever until I started seeing them. I mean, it was, um, again, it was Andrew who unboxed mm. them. Jimmy Barnes unboxed them. Yeah, and Jimmy's I, got the full line, right? Yeah, I think so. And I kind of appreciated them more because I, I didn't realise, if I'm honest with you, because I literally looked and thought, okay, I just thought they were luchadors. I didn't know the link with Marvel and that each one was kind of linked to a character. Oh, yeah. okay. So did that kind of bit pass you by yeah. anyway? Yeah, yeah. Well, definitely, because it was like a very, oh, no, I'm not bothered. Because it's so... I was fine with pops that they it's like bulk it's like all of a sudden there's mm. nothing for a few weeks and then all of a sudden there's like 40 new pops and it's like okay yeah, I'm not bothered by that I'm not bothered by that but then the second wave that they've I've seen that's coming out of the Luchidors with Black Panther for they look brilliant they yeah Black Panther, I think, they, they've, looks, they've kind of taken them up a notch right yeah so it's kind of like I, I still because like what Obi's saying I won't be able to just get one because I can't so I won't yeah. buy them but I can really really appreciate the yeah, I, I like them. I think it's a good line. If I was more room, I'd probably I'd be getting them as well, to be honest. Because they'll be they'll they seem to have gone cheap really, really quickly over here. Yeah. You Obi, but already I'm seeing them in sales for like four ninety nine, and it's like okay, well, it won't be a hard line to collect. Yeah, there's there's been a couple. I actually um, um one of the one of the questions that uh that y'all mentioned was what you picked up, and we have a Barnes and Noble a bookstore over here that uh, my local my local friend um like messaged me and, and she's like hey they got these like dollar pops i'm like what kind and she's showing me um they had the alan parish barnes and noble with holding the knife mm -hmm. and i'm like that's a 22 dollar pop why are they selling it for a dollar so i'm and i've been interested in like head swapping some uh some people yeah so i'm like who's got extra bodies and heads and um like i have a um like a collection for the family. I have like little pops for everybody. Um, and there's not a, another, another I'm, I'm tangenting off, but another line that I collect is bald bearded men. Cause yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of the guys that looks as close as close to me is Helsinki from uh, the yeah. money heist. Yeah. Who I haven't seen it, but I'm like, it's a bald bearded man. Like I need to, I need to get him. Um, but his problem is he's in a, like a jumpsuit holding yeah. the aching. And I'm like, I don't feel like that's a good representation of me and my family. I was going to uh, say that, that that's you on your, in your Sunday best. Yeah. I mean, like... You got to do what you can do. <laughs> but, but I'm like, if I just take his head off and put him on like a different body, like that should be easy to do. And it's relatively easy to do. Um, so I've, I've head swapped some of them. So I have it. And, Every single time I say it, I have a bunch of bodies and heads just in a box. Um, just to, that's why you wear the jumpsuit, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that's when I wear the jumpsuit. Um, but yeah, am, it's just, am I right in saying Barnes and Noble are getting out of pops? I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of who I watched a video on. It might have been it's either Skittle Rampage or Pop Savage. I think we're, we're talking about 
Barnes and Noble dumping Funko, as in they're no longer going to stock, and that was why they were doing the crazy kind of clearance. Oh, that would that would make sense because I mean they were uh, they were selling two they were selling two packs for two dollars. Yeah, I, I was going to say they're, they're, I, I saw like I'm, I'm quite into my Lord of the Rings pops, and there's a it's either a Sam or a Frodo that's like a Barnes and Noble exclusive. I want to say it's a translucent Frodo, actually, if I remember rightly. Yeah. And people were like, I need to get down to try and get this because it's yeah, like under five dollars, uh, and it's worth a lot more. I, I don't know the exact value, but worth a lot more. And there seemed to be quite a lot of hype around get to Barnes and Noble uh, while you can. Yeah, I definitely. I mean, I the, I went one time and just grabbed what I wanted, and then I was like, I'm not gonna find Dollar Pops anywhere else. So I went back and essentially took all of them, which I I have like a in the in my trunk I have like nine Fortnite Pops. Oh, you sent me the picture, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because I'm like, uh, but they're a dollar. So I'm like, I mean, that could that could easily be, you know, giveaways or I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say mystery boxes because yeah, mystery boxes that's inside. So just throw them in there. But I'm like, worst comes to worst, you know, it's a dollar pop. If you you'll you'll find somebody that need that's that's the great thing about the community. Like we were talking about, you know, hey Lee, are you gonna pick this up? There's a line and there's pops for everybody it's yeah. a wide range that you know if you look and you're like i don't really need the luchadors but oh give me you know give me that star wars like i need to pick i need to get all the jedis and somebody's like i don't want i don't like star wars i, I want a game of thrones I'll, I'll go your game of there's they have un, untapped potential but there's definitely lines that people are like i'd like to grab this yeah, I, I I would totally, and I suppose that's my biggest issue. <laughs> is that <laughs> I'm like I'm not. I, I said to for talking to Dick Lee two weeks ago, I'm not going to buy Falcon and Winter Soldier. I bought all three of them two nights ago. <laughs> what happens? Right? But I've also started that same line. It's like no, no I'm not going to bother with the pops. And it's like yeah, I'm I'm going to get all of the pops. <laughs> it's like it's. I, I don't want one division. I've got three sitting on my shelf beside me. As a matter of fact, I've got I've got more because uh, Lee hooked me up with the, the twins that are on the shelf further down but yeah it, it's bizarre that that kind of happens uh, and as you say that there's always hopefully someone that's willing to help you out as well yeah that's and that's the that's a wonderful thing about um i'm pretty sure that you guys have it you know across the pond um uh that you know you have this community is great that like they'll they'll grab something in a mystery box and they're like you know if this isn't my speed like hey i'll, I'll throw it over to you like i've had I've had several people like send over AOKs just because and my wife's like, why are they sending you stuff? I'm like, because this, that's what the community is. Yeah. Just, you know, if, if you have something that like, um, like I mentioned, I, you know, I'm a, I was born in the eighties and I was raised in the nineties. So I was very much a power Rangers kid. Mm -hmm. And so like, I think my third or fourth pop, I had to get Tommy the green Ranger. Cause I mean, you had to, he was the best. <laughs> uh, and then, then I was like, well, I was I was at a bookstore and they had Billy the Blue Ranger. I'm like, oh, my sister liked Billy, so I'll, I'll grab him. And then they had Kimberly. I was like, yeah, I'll grab Kimberly too. And then I'm like, I have three of the six. Yeah, and now you have to have them all, right? Yeah. <sighs> okay. And I mentioned on one of my videos, and um, somebody sent like the video I just dropped. Somebody sent me over a Yellow Ranger, and on the um, I, had, I want a a mystery box, and the guy sent me over a Red Ranger. I was like, okay, so currently I'm good, and then. And the other day I was I was at a shop and they had gold and they had gold ore and I was like okay I guess I'm doing I guess I'll get the vinyl villains too <laughs> yeah and and then what they'll do is because uh, it's getting rebooted right Power Rangers it's I'm, I'm, I'm sure not, I'm not sure have I have I made that up I'm I'm sure I I saw that it was getting rebooted uh, I know so part that. of me thought hey here comes more pops. <laughs> Oh, there was a film, wasn't there? I saw the film. Yeah. Was, was a few uh, I, I don't know if it's film or TV, but I'm sure, um, and I'm sure someone in the comments will tell us when we release this, uh, but I'm, I'm sure there was talk of Power Rangers reboot. Uh, it'll probably be out by the time you release this. What's that? Sorry, it'll be Christmas. <laughs> it'll, it'll probably be out by the time you release it. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking up. That's season three. Uh, <laughs> I have a pop that I want rid of. It's uh, I, I can't see where it is in my stacks. So I'll send you a photo of it, Obi, but it's the Black Ranger. I, th I think the range is called like Morphing, where they're kind of diamond. They're kind of oh, speckled. Like oh, have, yeah. you, have you got it? I, no, but I, I've seen them. and I've, I will post I've, you it because 
the box is sun damaged. Uh, I, I got it in a bundle. I bought a bundle and someone was like, oh, here, take these three as well. And it's essentially sat in someone's window. So the front of it's completely faded, but the, the pop itself is pristine. Uh, I'm going to post it. Nice. Uh, well, thank because you. Because I, I have no purpose to keep it. I know no Power Rangers collectors. And if you're watching this and you are a Power Rangers collector, tough, you have missed it. It's going to Obi. Uh, but I, I'll post that across to you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that, that's 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 one. Uh, like, we, I, I enjoy sending AOKs to people in the States. And I'm like, I, I want to be like Dave and send, you know, 12 pound boxes over to um, over to people overseas. But I know that um, that shipping shipping is crazy like i know that um like i, I talk with i talk with you two i talk with uh scarborough couple which is not scarborough it's it's scarborough um, <laughs> I, I call them scarbs for ease oh, that's fair that's fair um, I'm, I'm trying to get that to take off you know yeah it won't <laughs> it won't because <laughs> i'm and, and i've i've actually had a couple of videos i've like i like i'm in the middle of opening something and i'm like i wish i had billy i need billy here <laughs> <sighs> don't don't start singing to knives and all that. No, we don't need that. Uh, Jimmy scratches is, that itch enough. <laughs> but it is. I mean, it, again, it's it's a wonderful, a wonderful community, and I, I I like reaching out to new to new people. I was actually um, you know talk, taco. I've talked with Taco Pops and uh, Bees Poppin over in Australia. Yeah, but it's like. Like I know that there's people over there. Oh, and uh, Poppin' Nostalgia. Um, he actually he actually sent me an AOK, and I was like, yes. So I'm and how that man only has I think last time I checked he only has like 70 subs. I'm like, why do people not know about Poppin' Nostalgia? I have no like, idea who that is. So send me the link for that. After okay, this we'll, after we'll, that. we'll stick a wee link in the description for anyone else that hasn't come across the channel as well. Yeah, he's I mean, he's, he's he's a great <laughs> he's a great he's a he's a great guy. He's a funny guy and. Um, like I, what I, what I did in mine, I at least I, I watch his intros because I, I'm very good at imitating people, or at least I think I'm good at imitating people. Um, so I try to like take what they do and be like, hey, look, it's kind of like this. Um, and then if there's people that haven't heard of them, be like, hey, I'll link them down below who yeah. I'm imitating. Go see the original person. Like and again, it's just it's just all going back to helping out other people. Like I have my I have my little group that I know that I'm gonna have go go find somebody else go if i have my 200 and some you know go over to somebody at least you know if there's five people go over there you know he's got five more people watching his stuff so you're on a crusade i'm trying i'm trying <laughs> um you know at, at, at every at every milestone i'm like okay so i got the 225 cool uh 226 I'm like three weeks later uh, we're two oh no we're back at 225 dang it <laughs> oh, it's, so you see that that numbers game it's a slippery slope right just watching hey i've gone up by three but i've dropped by seven tomorrow what's happened and then all of a sudden it, it all magically reappears and stuff I, i've i've kind of got to the point where i try not to bother looking at my sub count yeah it's hard not to you see it i always say i'm not bothered by the subs which it's easy said but yeah. it's engagement for me i'd rather yeah if, me too if I, if I had less subs but more engagement i would I'd take that as a win, if I'm honest with you, because I, I, I like I like chatting in the comment, I, that kind of thing, knowing that people have kind of had fun through the video. Whereas if I've got like 60 views, but two comments, that, I, it wouldn't be the same for me. I, I need to have, I love the comments. I love when people like put four or five comments, join a video and have a chat and it's, it's, it's good fun. That's, that's what I think is the main thing. If, you, if you're in it for the community, that's the focus, I think. I don't think... It's all well and good saying I'll sub to you, you sub to me. If you're not going to watch the videos, it's yeah. like it's just a number. But if you're going to engage and you're going to find common people who you get, I mean, all three of us are from different countries, but we, you know what I mean? We found each other through actually watching each other's videos, commenting, and it's, that's that's more important to me than a number. So it's the wait. moment got quite a few subs, but I, it is more important, I think. So, so wait, you guys aren't all in Europe? Isn't Europe just one big country? <laughs> 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 hey, I, I went to, to Florida, it would have been two years ago, and someone randomly chatting to you, they're like, oh, you're, you're from Scotland, yeah, 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 whereabouts do you stay in Scotland, ran through where I stay, and they're like, how far is that from London? And I'm like, <laughs> that's all you get, that's, I get that as well, when yeah. I've, been, I've been lucky, I've been a couple of times, I mean, one of the times we went to America, and me and my wife, we went to the cinema, 
and they couldn't understand my English accent. They were like, what, what? And it was like, Claire, you're gonna, they don't know what I'm saying. It's like two tickets, please, two. What, what? Oh, you, don't, you don't get that with the Scottish accent. When you go to America with the Scottish Sorry. accent, they love you. They, they understand yeah. everything you say. I, I get that. I, I, I filter out English accents as well. I, I get that. <laughs> this, is when, this is when my sub count drops. <laughs> well, I'm definitely <laughs> I've I've watched I've watched enough BBC that I'm like just the the you know the UK the UK and the Scotland and the Ireland just all, all those accents and I'm like ooh that's that's good I like that I like that <laughs> <laughs> so mo moving on any recent pickups guys Obi you're the guest you go first mate um I mean besides those like dollar pops that's uh the recent ones I've got I've I recently got you know the the Cara Dune and the IG-11. Um, I got a, got a couple on the way. I've got a couple mystery boxes that um, people in the community have, you know, put on mystery boxes. And I try to support, you know, support the community before big companies, you know, because, um, you know, there's there's one guy that lives about three hours south of me that he, he keeps doing all these uh, mystery boxes. Um, and a lot of them have, like, fire in them. Like, he had a 100 box run, and he's like, there's 33 Freddies distributed between between 100 boxes it was like good. okay um so yeah that's that's kind of what i've what i've had i think I, mean, I think you've got a big a big package to show us lee <laughs> that, that's not that's not been said to me on the internet before but um i've gone i'm bundling i've been bundling so i got i love ready player one i never bought the pops but i saw these three on ebay and these were £10 plus post or best offer. So I made an offer of £6.80 to £10 all in. I got those free. And then from that, I thought, well, I've got to get the rest. So I managed to get these two for £8 all in. Oh, nice. So I actually got the high five from Ready Player One, £18 for all five of them, which is like out of box, but they're going to be out of box anyway. So for, for you, that doesn't matter, right? I mean, the detail yeah. on these two, like, where's my camera there? Yeah, yeah. You look at them, just... That's one of those kind of pops where even if I hadn't seen the film, you'd be like, wow, that is amazing. And then this one, we were talking about out of box, but I mean, the ponytail and... Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, just, wow. So it's just just really, really cool pop. So again... The the, uh, the detail on the bodywork looks awesome as well. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, this, this one, it's got all like... Um, I don't know how... I'm sorry. I'm really bad with the camera. There you go. There you go. Yeah. But it's all... That's all embossed and yeah. it's... it's yeah, there's so much detail going on on that. It's crazy. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's a, they're really cool pops. I mean, I literally need, because at Christmas I picked up a sixer in the Zabby Self. That was two ninety nine posted. So I literally need IROC and Sorrento, and then I've got a set of these. So done. Yeah, so at some point I will pick them up. But again, cheap as I can. But, yeah. Again, they're quite a nice manageable set, right? That yeah. You know, there's that kind of. Although are they, are, again, are they not making? A second film? Yeah, there is. A, there's a second book, so I'm assuming there'll be a second yeah, film. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a de you can get like a patina ones, see through ones. There's some quite cool. There's a really cool Jade Sixer, which I know now you're going to have to look for and put somewhere down in the video. But not going to bother. You fucking well. <laughs> <laughs> at least but, at uh, least point down to one of the corners. I'm trying yeah. to do myself. this way. You just put there. You go right on Obi's head. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I won't go. I mean, I say that I've got a clear possible that I got given as a gift, mm. but I'm not going after all of them. But if I can get the set of them, that's like seven, eight pops. That'll look quite cool in the display. Yeah. I've actually got a ready player one poster as well. So, oh, nice. I, you can actually make a display of it. Yeah, I can do something with that. So, I thought, why not? 18 pound all in, you can't go wrong. I've only got one one that I want to show because I've got videos coming for the other stuff. Yeah, you've got, you've got uh, boxes. <laughs> uh, big, I know we spoke about this before, Lee. Uh, yeah, I love, boys. Love so boys. I, I I'm sure I said before, and this is when again someone will call me out for it. When the E E make sure I get this right, E C C C C C C C C C with hundred C's pops dropped. I was like, I don't want anything from it from the yeah, at that. all. I've now got this. I've got the twins from one division, and I've got Grimlock sitting in my kitchen. So even though I said I didn't want anything, I've picked up quite a few still waiting for my my hero academia one to finally drop here in in the uk or at least europe but yeah i picked up the deep uh, for my my boys collection that i told myself i wasn't going to start and so far i've got as a matter of fact i've got starlight sitting here i've got 
a train sitting in a stack up the top. So yeah, for a line that I wasn't going to pick up, I very clearly am now picking some up. Great, there is some great pops in that line, though, isn't there? Some really, yeah. really good pops. So my, my biggest concern is there's the uh, there's a bloody variant of Butcher. Right. I think it's quite expensive. And I'm like, do I just go for the standard or will it kind of haunt me that I don't have the one with like the blood splatter all over them? So I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do at that point. And there's also the a next wave coming out as well. So you've got kids though. So just have that one out of box and then just get your little boy doing some painting with red paint. And at some point it's going to get, it's going to get paint on it. <laughs> your own custom. Well, that's a point. Maybe I could do my own custom. Yeah. And I could, I could try and mirror it on exactly the right part of the, the scene in the in the show where he gets the <laughs> numerous occasions where there's blood all over him, right? <laughs> Why not? So before the this episode, Obi, I decided, and I'm sure you saw this on Instagram, to reach out to the community and ask some questions or get them to ask you some questions. So I thought we could do like a bit of a quick fire round of viewers' questions, if that's okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So the first one comes from the wonderful Wayne Deacon. And he wants okay. to know, I, I made sure not to pick his terrible question because he asked a few. <laughs> uh, he wants to know what your worst pop in your collection is. Um, well, I do have I do have the Fortnite ones that I'm not really fond of, but I actually, I, I think you met you, you messaged me earlier about it and I actually have him. Oh. Um, I don't collect The Walking Dead, but it was in, it was in a set and I was like, all right, I'll, I'll grab him. Um, so it's Negan, mm. and the person failed to mention that. I, sh I had this on a video. The person failed to mention that uh, his bat ha has a little bit of chewy. Um, marks the, on the seals had a hard time. So um, this one would probably, but a, a lot of my pops I get with purpose. So I was looking through, I was like, ah, even like my $2 pops, like I have them for a reason. Mm. But, this one, when, when I get like lots and I'm like, I don't know why I have this one. So there you go, Wayne. This is for That's you. for you, Wayne. A chewed up Negan. <laughs> this, is, this is where my prep's not quite as good as it should be because I've got to load the questions on my phone. <laughs> right. Next question comes from Funko Pop Nerf Herder. I don't know if any, either of you guys follow him. Absolutely phenomenal photographer. Does Star Wars pops predominantly. Oh, his photos are awesome. But he wants to know what your favorite movie is? Uh, favorite movie, I think um, we're actually just talking about this with a, a friend of mine. Um, I'm really a fan of The Princess Bride. I almost said Diaries because when I, I didn't, never I didn't watch Princess Bride. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't even know what it's about other than a princess getting married, I'm assuming. I, no, sort of. See, I didn't watch it for the longest time because I thought it was like prequel to Princess Diaries and somebody mentioned Andre the Giant. And I was like... Ah, uh, so you're in. <laughs> I don't remember Andre the Giant. And it is, it's a movie from I think 87. And it is, it's still one of those movies I can watch over and over again. And, and you mentioned earlier about Lord of the Rings. I I love J.R.R. Tolkien. Mm, awesome. So, Yay, someone else in my camp. So actually, um, they, somebody was selling a, a bell wrong. And he's like, the box is kind of messed up, so I'll, I think it was, I'll, I'll get rid of. But that's one of those. That, that's one of those that is out of box. It looks gnarly. I had him sitting beside me. It'll be, it'll be fixed in post. It'll just magically appear. Oh, no. this is where this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is where Lee will do a great Gandalf impression for us. Wow. Just <laughs> is, that, is that really yeah. what it's come to? You'll have to edit that in <laughs> from someone else. <laughs> uh, no. That, that Balrog is a perfect example of a pop that needs to be out of box. It, you well, can't you see, really get that in the box. I, I know you, at least Lee's seen my My Hero Academia collection, which is above camera. I've got a shelf to the right of it where I've got at the moment all my Lord of the Rings pops kind of sitting in their boxes, they're going to get unboxed and put onto a display stand. Uh, the only thing that I currently have out of the box uh, is this, which is purely because it's, it's, because it's a ride, the box is bloody huge. Yeah. Uh, 
and it's it's actually sitting under a table uh, beside me. Uh, so it, it's out of box because that's going to go at the end of the shelf. Uh, and I've also got the, uh, see if I can get this. For at the other end. Yeah. Uh, so the plan is that the two rides, what one I'll kind of cap off each end uh, and then I'll have the, the collection sat in the middle. In theory, anyway, if it all fits because I appear to have a lot more pops than I realised for from the range. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry, I go off on a tangent as well. Uh, I'm trying to think, well, what were the other questions, Lee? I gave them to you. Oh, well, you did give them to me. Let me see if I can find them. Did I give them to you as well, Obi? Yeah, just... you, give, you give me a few. Uh, well, you didn't, again, I didn't prepare because you didn't tell me I had to. Um, no, it's okay. I think a lot of my... <laughs> I've got them. No, I don't. That's the outline. Uh... This is the problem. You don't, I don't realise how often you message me. <laughs> yeah, this is just <laughs> because it's weird. Uh, yeah. While they're looking, I have a wampa arm in the back of my car. What is that for? It's, you guys don't have wampa arms in the back of your car? No. Uh, Was it roadkill? So, no, this is actually my, my wife got this for me several years ago. It's an ice scraper. For if you get like frost on the window. Oh, amazing. So you put your arm in there so your arm is, this stays nice and warm, and then you scrape the ice off. That's amazing. Right. You're, you're not in the middle of building a Wampa cosplay. No. And and does does it come in left and right variables? Uh, no, it's just it's just uh, it's it's left or right, uh, ambidextrous as it were. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't have a thumb. <laughs> but what's what's, uh, what's funny is um, on the weekends I drive uh, ride sharing service. Okay. Just to drive people, you know, back from the. I live right near the uh, the Atlantic Beach. So, you know, we drive lots of people back from the uh, from the bars and it's very funny to see drunk people kind of look back and be like, ah, this dude has like a severed arm in the back of his car. What you never tempted to, to bloody up one end of it. Oh, one of it, the side of it is the, the side you go in is actually like it's red around. The side. So it looks like it, it looks like a dismembered arm. Oh, amazing. I found the questions, Lee. Don't worry. You yeah, I just, I just found the ones that you sent me and they're all. There's only one sensible one. No, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, let, let's go for... We're, we're not going to go for the one from... Uh, I think it was fuzzy, purely because I think you'll be offended by it. Uh, but we'll go for another one, which is from... Make sure I get this right. Funko Hunter UK. Dom. Yeah, it's Dom. Dom, yeah. yeah. Uh, which is, what does OBE stand for? It changes every day. I, I know in your videos, you, you, you introduce it in a different part, but is, is there an original? No. No, um, way back when, uh, when I, um, when I played Halo, mm -hmm. like that was my that was my gamer tag. I mean, I wasn't, ah, okay. I wasn't going anywhere. Uh, and then when I started a channel, I was like, oh, I could dust it off. Like I got I got some stuff I could do with that. Um, and it's kind of become become the running gag of, you know, well, what does it stand or, or, for? Oranges bouncing echidnas. Yeah, just everywhere. I was actually, which is which is a problem when I record several videos in a row, because I'll have I'll have one I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna end the video I'll be like, I gotta think of another one, record, uh, this one. So when I do like four or five in a row, I'm like, I'm gonna reuse one eventually, and someone's gonna call me out for it. <laughs> now we did get three other questions, but I'm not gonna read them because I feel like people are taking the piss. Now, do you know that, I take it you know the phrase taking the piss? Yes. Oh, yeah. Is it when we had Dave, or in one of Dave's videos, he had to kind of talk about what taking the piss was for his American audience. Uh, <laughs> but, the, the, yeah, one of them, I'll ask the other one, which was again from Wayne. He wanted to know, do you ever get birds nesting in your beard? Um, every once and again, but you kind of shoo them out and, uh, and they, they fly away. I don't know if either of you guys ever watched Family Guy. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. when, when Peter Griffin had the, the beards, the, the birds nesting? And was there a Boba Fett as well in his beard? Yeah, I mean, there was. Sure, I'll, I'll see if I can get a wee clip to put below, but I'm sure there's a part where he's got his beard and he gets birds nesting in it. And then at the end, it's something like, he's like, I love you, Boba Fett. And it's like a little bird with the Boba Fett helmet on. I'm sure anyway. But yeah, that Wayne want, wanted to know if you ever get birds in your beard. Ever, ever once and again. So thanks, Wayne. Uh, and the last one, I actually said I wasn't going to ask this. Fuzzy wants to know, Fuzzy Dunlop wants to know what type of underwear you like. Uh, on on yourself, on. this is. This is on yourself. The, the ones I have on. <laughs> this is the kind of questions that you get from the community, right? Where, yeah. where no one wants to ask you anything uh, of, of note. They purely just want to take the piss out of you. 
That's okay. I'm 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 kind of get I'm kind of getting used to it, especially when I have my when I have my baby on uh on screen. Like all the comments are about her. I'm like, did you, did you not see the pops that I opened? Like I opened a <laughs> grail. You're like, no, the baby's cute. I'm like, oh, uh, that's why my dog no longer features in my videos. I had like two videos where my dog would appear, and everyone was just like, oh, look at your dog. And I'm like, guys, this cost me like eighty quid. And <laughs> I don't care. All you care about is that my dog appeared for fifteen seconds, and then she whined at the door to get back out. Yeah, uh, don't work with kids and animals. Mm. Yep. No. Okay, I, I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll wrap stuff up. I can see it's getting daylight with you, Obi. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like the sun's up. <laughs> the sun's up. So but before we say goodbye, anything you want to plug, anything you want to promote? Obviously, um, we'll share like your, your Instagram, your YouTube, and all that kind of stuff below as well. Yeah, um, I, don't know, I don't know when this is coming out, but I do have a box battle that I'm doing with the Rue crew that lives... Uh, in my city and there is going to be a we, I've, we've actually both recorded the unboxings um and we're going to upload them at the same time and cool. then there will be a live punishment probably on their channel <laughs> with a punishment oh hey if this comes out after i'll make sure to link that because i'm hoping they're going to shave your beard no no we already we already <laughs> we already said there's no beard there's no beard shaving um i will <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not blessed up here, so I gotta I gotta. <laughs> did did your hair just slip round? Uh, something like that. It's um, you know, I started losing my as my hair started running back when I was like 13 or 14. So I'm like I'm just gonna embrace the curve and just shave my head. Quite right. I've I've always said that when when I start to recede, it's it's gone. No, I'm not engaging the comments. <laughs> mine's, mine's racing to the middle, but I'm fighting. <laughs> 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 um, I just always, I, I try to upload like two or three times a week, so um, it's always interesting content. Uh, I have a couple uh, people sending boxes like for the kids, and I'm like, yeah. the, for, the, for the first time the other day, I got a box that said "Obi the Kids Kids." Bro, I'm like, <laughs> this, not not me. Okay, yeah, uh, no no joy for you. Uh, <sighs> no, actually, I had a. Uh, um, uh, somebody that I'm a Patreon to, uh, a really good friend, Sassy Cajun. Yep. She sent, she sent a AOK -okay, uh, for the family. She's like, well, there's one thing in there for you. Um, and I'm, I've, I've recorded the first half because two of my kids were with my parents um, for summer camp. Um, so I haven't recorded the other two. But the one thing that was for me, my, my baby daughter uh, happened to steal. She's like, this is mine. Okay, so I guess I have nothing for me. Thanks for the box. My kids loved it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've had that, Lee, right? That May's been like, I want that. Oh, yeah, May's relentless. But the, the good thing with May is she's quite untidy. So I'll let her have it. And then after a few days, I'll just gradually just take it back and put it well. <laughs> She'll never notice. <laughs> but no clue at all. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Obi. Really, really do appreciate it. Especially, I know, obviously, you've taken a, a bit of time out of your working day for it. But thank you so much for joining us at the crack of dawn uh, at your side of things. Really, really do appreciate it, man. Hey, thanks for thanks for inviting me. I love uh, I love chatting with, you know, I get, we get enough conversations with the the States people. So I'm like, let me, see, let me see who's up at the UK. So, I mean, you guys, you guys are definitely on the top of the list of... Uh, Actually, I've got one more thing. Sorry, I won't ask. Where's the, the Britney Spears style microphone? It's at the house. Oh man, like, I, I, I live for that. I keep, I keep waiting for you to like burst and hit me, baby, one more time with it. How do you know how I was going to end the video? Now there's an even better reason for everyone to watch right to the end of your videos so that they can see that. Right? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, thank you so much to say for joining us. And thank you. For anyone that doesn't know Obi, don't forget, check out the links in the description below for all those goodies. So uh, there you go. Brilliant, Obi. I thought Obi was fantastic, to be honest with you. I, I really enjoyed talking to him. I, I'd imagine two hours in my car, I'd be sat there, think back and be killing me. Really, yeah. nah. fair, fair play. That I'm, I'm sitting here in my, my comfy chair. Technically, like, I'm thinking as well, he might, he's probably been paid for that because he was meant to be working. So he's been paid. We kind of, in, in some way, someone's facilitated us. And don't, don't, don't shop him. <laughs> yeah. We don't know where he works anyway. But no, I, I, brilliant episode. I think um, usual rule of thumb. If you didn't join us for the premiere, please talk to us in the comments. But if we you didn't did join us for the premiere. We didn't do comment. it in the premiere. Oh, you twat. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. It's a live one. Yeah. 
Huh? I'm going to post it just as a normal video. Okay, we'll do it again then. We'll do it again. No, Sorry. no, don't. Just, just go. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So yeah, let us know in the comment. Let us know in the comments what you thought of this episode. Chat away to us. More importantly than anything, though, I think is go and show Obi some love, show him some support because yeah. the guy we've just had the pleasure of chatting to for an hour is the guy who his channel is fantastic. He's a yeah. really good guy, and he comes across really warm. Yeah, He's I was going to say generally a down to earth guy. Yeah. Who cares. Uh, and realistically, as Lee's kind of pointed out, we've chatted for an hour, and realistically, and you guys will have noticed this when you're watching it, we haven't spent that much time talking about Funkos, we've just been chatting, and yeah. I suppose that's, at least for me, the beauty of this kind of show, is that we can just kind of blather on about stuff, but yeah, yeah I mean, top, top, people, top guy. Hopefully people are enjoying it as well, if, if you'd rather... If you we don't can... enjoy it, actually, on that note, if you don't enjoy it, what would you, what would you like to see us do? Yeah, if you don't enjoy it, why are you here now? <laughs> yeah, if you, hey, no, no one's here for the outro anyway, right? No one, no one gives a shit by this point. No, we'll leave it there.